Today I'm going to show you a simple way to change the color of anything in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today we got a really cool tutorial for you. This is relatively simple. I'm gonna show you guys how to change the color of anything in Photoshop. There are a couple key tools in Photoshop that make this really easy on you. So we're actually gonna change the color of a car today. I'm gonna change the base color and then I'm gonna also show you guys how to change the highlight color as well. This is really, really cool. And then after that, we're gonna stylize the photo and we're gonna make it look a little more badass. Our image today is by Charles Byron. This is a really cool image of a Honda Civic and uh, we're gonna go ahead and start changing the colors on this image. So we're gonna grab our hue saturation adjustment layer. This is an awesome adjustment layer. Um, at its base, you can just grab the hue and kind of move this around. And it's gonna change the hue of everything that's on my image. Now in this case, the only things that really have color are the sky, the car, and a little bit of the ground. So this is a really good example to work with, but you can see when I zoom in here, let's say I wanted to make my car green or something like that, it's gonna affect like the color in my headlights and other things like that. So one of the really great things you can do, let's go ahead and reset this. You can actually pinpoint this to a specific color range. So here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from master and I'm gonna go down to my blues and now we're actually just gonna change our blues. So as I move this around, you can see my lights stay the same. Everything is gonna stay the same. It's just my blues that are actually changing. Now, if you want to pinpoint this a little bit better, grab this eyedropper tool and you can actually click right there on your image and that will, it'll automatically load up whatever color you click on. Like if I click on this headlight, it's going to automatically load up the headlight. Click back on the blue and it'll automatically load up that color. So we are going to choose to change this to a little bit of a green. Now, keep in mind, there's some things that we need to do when we're changing a color, especially for a car. Um, you can see, let's just turn this off and on. We can see some of the changes that it's made turning this off and back on. And for the most part, it looks really good, but we do have areas that we need to mask off. Like these wheels, they don't need a green tint, right? Because they would be reflecting the sunlight. The same with the windshield and things like that. So let's go ahead and click on our layer mask. And I'm gonna just paint black on my layer mask here. And what that does is just makes this layer invisible. All right, just where you paint on your layer mask. And you can see if I happen to go over top of the car or something like that, it's gonna make this green invisible there as well. So let's go ahead and paint white back over there, which is gonna, just gonna make that visible again. So we wanna make sure we're going over top of our windows. You don't wanna change the colors of your windows because those are, you know, they're relatively neutral most of the time, but they are gonna be reflecting the sky. So they should take a slightly bluish tint. All right, there we go. And we're gonna go ahead and paint this on here. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and paint black over the wheels. You can see there was a, a little bit of a hue shift on the wheels as well. And that's just, that's just gonna look weird pretty much any time you do it. Okay, so there we are. There's the before and the after. Now the cool thing about cars, they're, the paint shops on cars are awesome. They usually have colors that are like kind of the base coat and then they have like, uh, you know, nicer finishes over top that reflect different colors. So. I'm gonna show you guys how to change the color. Like we're actually gonna grab those highlights of this car and I'm gonna show you how to change the highlights and like bring those into a new different color range as well. So we've changed basically like the base coat of the car to green, really, really cool. And if I wanna change that again, all I have to do is double click right here on my adjustment layer, just go down to my blues again and I can simply just move this anywhere I want it. So if I wanted to go with a red or you know, something like that, all I have to do is move this around, pretty easy but we are gonna keep it in the green range for right now. Okay, you can also see that it did change this color, the color of my sky and areas like that. So if you do have other colors that are similar to your car color, be sure you use your black paintbrush and just layer mask those areas out. Great. So now that we've changed the color of our car, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and we're gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna go to select and then down to color range because I wanna select the color range that's in the highlights of my car. All right, something like that looks pretty good. Now you wanna bring your fuzziness to a level where it selects most of the car, but you can see right here, my backdrop is starting to be gray, which I don't want, because that means it's selected. So I'm gonna take this down a little bit till my backdrop's completely black. There we go. So now my car is selected, 
I can go ahead and grab an adjustment layer and we're gonna use a color balance adjustment layer. This is a really cool adjustment layer because you can, you can target highlights, midtones, and shadows separately. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on my highlights and now I wanna pull this more towards like a little bit more of a yellow. See what happens if we put some red in there. Kind of like just gives it a really interesting candy coat. Makes it really cool. You can work on your shadows as well, like changing, changing the levels of these to just really bring a lot out into the car. So not only are we changing the car, but we're also making it a lot more dynamic. So there's the before and the after. It's a much more dynamic coat of paint on that car. All right, and if it's too much, just lower the opacity, which in this case, I think it was a little bit too much. Okay, awesome. So that's pretty much it for changing a car color. Now, we've got this awesome image and I just wanted to do a couple more things on it to make it just, I, I wanna shift the focus to the car a little bit and change the way you see this image. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. A couple really simple steps and uh, it's gonna make a big difference again. So we're gonna create a new layer and let's go ahead and grab a curves adjustment layer. I'm just gonna click here in the middle and drag this down. Let's drag our high point down as well. We're just darkening this area. Okay, now it's visible everywhere, so I'm gonna hit Command-I to invert that layer mask. And then we're gonna grab our gradient tool, and I'm gonna grab my linear gradient right over here, and I'm gonna paint white. So I've got a white to transparent linear gradient, and now I'm gonna click over here and drag down in this way. There we go. And we've got a nice area. It's just gonna kind of darken that area down for me. Great. Now the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a lens flare to this. and. <laughs> I love lens flares. Anytime you're looking to add a little bit of interest into a photo, lens flare is like the go-to. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in a subtle way so it doesn't look horrible though. All right, let's make a new layer and I'm gonna make a stamp visible. So shift option command E, that just takes everything you see and puts it on a blank layer. So next we're gonna go to filter. I'm gonna go down here to render and down to lens flare. And I'm just gonna choose this lens flare. You want it coming from the light source of your image. So around this area, that's where we want it coming from and we're just gonna bring the brightness up a little bit. There we go. Hit okay, and that looks pretty good. Now, here's a trick that I like to use. Because the lens flare is applied to a layer, you can't like blur it or lower the opacity. So the trick that I like to use is, after I've done this, I hit Shift Delete, and I fill this layer with black. Okay, and then Command F will redo the same filter. So fill the same layer with black, then redo the same filter, which you can see is the lens flare here. Now we're gonna change that blending mode from normal down to screen. So you should see the exact same thing. Only the lens flare is not on, it's not attached to the layer with the car. So I can actually move the lens flare now. I can lower the opacity of it a little bit. I can give it a little bit of a blur if I wanna do that. And I can layer mask just the lens flare. All right, just to make it a little bit less obnoxious. Just a little bit. All right, there we go. And that looks pretty good. Now, the next thing we're going to do, just really quick, I'm gonna grab another color balance adjustment layer. So we used a color balance adjustment layer to affect the colors of the paint job of the car, and now we're gonna use it for the entire image, because I wanna bring some warmth into those highlights and some of the cools into the shadows. So here on my highlights, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go grab my yellows, and we're gonna kinda bring this up a little bit and give it a little bit of reds as well. That's gonna, yellow and red makes orange. Now we're gonna go into our shadows and we're gonna pull these into blue and a little bit of like green there. All right, there we go. Maybe we can lower the opacity of this lens flare just a little bit more. And then here in our midtones, you can just kind of pull those around, put a little bit of green, maybe some red in those as well. So we're just kind of colorizing this image a little bit as well, making it a little bit more dynamic. There you can see the before and the after with that. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've done in our image. This is our color work, just kind of making the image a little bit more dynamic, drawing your attention towards the back of the image, kind of like making it look like the car is bursting out from the light there, and then changing the color. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna group the two of those. Let's go ahead and full, this, full screen this out. And here's our before and our after. And again, before and the after. You guys can see that didn't take too long and you can use the same technique to color anything in Photoshop. Keep in mind, you're gonna have a base color and a lot of times you're gonna have a highlight color as well. So use those two, the color balance as well as the hue saturation with each other and it's gonna get some really great results. Thanks so much for watching Flurn, guys. Like this episode if you liked 
If you actually did like this episode, hit the like button on YouTube. It helps us out on our YouTube channel. And subscribe to our YouTube channel if this is something you'd like to see more of in the future. We release two to three of these videos every single week, teaching Photoshop and photography for free. And if you have someone in your life who likes Photoshop and photography and wants to learn a little bit more, please send them, hit the share button somewhere in YouTube. Just hit that and then you'll share it with them. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching Florin guys. I'll Florin you later. Just hit the button, I don't know. Just, it's somewhere, just hit it. It's, it's not in this video. I'm not the button. It's on the page somewhere else. Just hit it. <laughs>